mm01 Okay, raw materials, use basic data, chasing, but no, we want, we don't want this one. What we'll do is SPRO. We'll change the screens, basically. What are the screens? We'll just see. Material master, configuring material master. Assign screen sequence to material type transaction, industry sector. The material type is ROH, which is raw material. Okay, we don't have one. Inventory zero one star ROH. We are going to make a material master. Reference industry. One and close and save. Okay, done with this, let's go back to material master again, make a material, select views, organization levels, T74, do we have a store, I think we have a store. Seventy four sales org. D seventy four F zero distribution channel F zero FP DPTS what time F zero. Company code does not exist. Okay, fine. We will make a company code first because I think SPRO. Some of the organizational units might not have been maintained. Enterprise structure, definition, financial accounting. Edit company code data. T74. Okay, it's there. And the company code is there. Let's assign. Logistics assigned plan to company board. It's 74. Okay, it is assigned. Sales distribution, sales board to company board. I guess this is also assigned. 
74. This is assigned. Materials management, purchasing or to company code. 74. Okay, company code is T74. This was not assigned. Okay, save. Sign purchasing or to plant. 74. It's not there. T74. Okay. Assignment is done. Next is financial accounting. Ledgers, fields, assign company code to field status variants. Now, this is an important step from the finance point of view. 74 001 is field status variant. Okay. Fiscal year, assign company code to fiscal year variant. This is also an important step. K4 is assigned. Okay. This is assigned then. Parallel valuation, an important step. Multiple valuation. Currency and valuation profile. Now, this is important again from finance point of view, but we have to set it up. T74 is not there. T74. Currency valuation profile. Okay. Now, this is for material valuation for putting a value to material and stock at different places. Assign currency and valuation profile to controlling area. We don't have a controlling area yet. General ledger accounting, master data, GL accounts, preparations. Um, assign company code to the chart of accounts. I'll see if it is assigned or not. T74 is W42. Okay, it is assigned. Next step is retained earnings account. T74 W42. Okay, this is assigned. Okay, now the definition controlling, maintain controlling area. Now, this is an important step again from finance side, but required for every level. The entries. Controlling area is equal to company code. I mean, already assigned to. Okay, it is already assigned. P seventy four. USD. WF four two. Okay, next step is OKKP. P74, the same thing, M. Okay, pivot components. These are active also assignment of company codes. This is also active, save.
Okay. Now, next step is what we are actually doing is connecting organizational units together, binding all these together, financial accounting. So you will have to do these steps blindly as a logistics consultant. Ledgers, parallel valuation, we were in the last step, we were here. Basic settings and assign currency and valuation profile to controlling area. T74 and T74. And okay, define ledger or CO version T74. It's not there. T74 version 0 ledger 0 L. Now, what is this basically? Controlling area. What is controlling area? Okay, let me explain now. The hierarchy is like this company in which is um operating concern. Now what is operating concern? Organization. The mother organization. Okay. So in this operating concern is in SAP. Under operating concern comes uh, controlling area. Controlling area is basically nothing but for your costing, profit center, counting, cost center, counting, okay, cost center accounting, okay, and under, and it can have its own currency. Under controlling area, we have company codes. And under company codes, we have plants, sales, or purchase, or person or area. What else? So, plants, sales, or purchase, or report to company code. Okay, and company code can have its own currency. This is operational unit. Company codes report to controlling area. Okay. Now, profit centers basically can be your business business locations or centers or products, business verticals. And at this level, you just don't need any operations, you just need reports. So this is a reporting side, okay, at the higher level for management. So management reports are, reporting is done from here, operation reporting is done from here. Okay, I hope that is clear. So, over here, what we are doing is controlling area, version zero. Now, what is version zero? Now, version is basically you have like registers, manual registers in old times. There was a register one for daily records of income, expenses, in or out, okay? Just like in a hotel. Number two was um, daily total balances register, okay? Then there was a reconciliation register. Then there was bank register for banks, for checks, okay? Then we have a separate for expense register, right? Then we had vendor register, so, so on. So in SAP, we have ledgers as well. The main is called leading ledger and it is zero L. Nobody and no one can replace this. There can be many sub ledgers, but main is only one. So we are attaching controlling area with version zero. And version zero is basically what? It's um, now for every register, there was a plan for the next week or month planned revenues that this much revenues will be uh, 
are forecasted or expected. Okay. So, but we also had another actual what was earned in that week or month and year. Okay. So, versions is basically the same thing. Plan values for the next quarter or week or day or month. Okay. And within this zero, we have actual values also to compare. So, the comparison is called variance. Okay. So, we can have as many as thousand versions, okay, 999, and they can be zero, they can be one, they can be two, this is for purely actual, this can be only for plans, then we can have like nine, 900 for best forecast scenario, 909 is worst case scenario, 901 will be like normal case forecast okay just like that so this is basically what the purpose here for what zero l is the main okay i hope i'm clear so save it oh the server might have hung up Spiro. Call valuation, multiple valuation, six seconds. Define ledger for C or G. Um, what was that? T seven four. Okay, T seventy four zero zero L two. Okay, so we have plan actual version for time group. Okay, so we've done that. Material ledger settings, we have to uh, check these also. Assign currency valuation. Types and define material ledger types. Okay. Uh, 74. Okay. Inventory is D74. D74. Material ledger. Now, what is material ledger? Let me first save it and then I'll explain. Assign valuation area. Assign material ledger to valuation. What is valuation area of plant? T74, material ledger type T74. Okay, so valuation area is connected with company code and it's connected to material ledgers. Material ledger is nothing but ledger for materials to keep a record of materials in different currency. That's it. That's all about it. Activate. Solution areas for material ledger, activate material ledger. And position is 74. Active price determination is line items. Okay, transaction based. Save. That's it. I mean, material ledger is, is a record for all materials at different locations. So your stock can be in Philippines, some of your stock will be in, um, in Australia. So the valuation will be different. So that is why we need a material ledger. Okay. Okay, now activation, set up transfer prices, material approaches, valuation approaches, multiple valuation approaches, check and execute activation. Okay. Controlling area T74, activate and controlling area, execute, does not, currency and valuation profile T74 does not exist, it does exist. Mm 
Sign material ledger. Okay, assign currency types. This is also done. But anyways, we have done. Next is that we create mm01. Um mechanical ROH select views musician levels 74 S does not exist has not been fully maintained. Not yet maintained, so let's take it up in the next one. 